from California. I haven't seen too much of him um, competition-wise. Headband this is, versus this is gonna headband be, here. This is going to be interesting for me, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting into it. Pokemon Stadium 2, game one. Yeah, you see a lot of people going to this Pokemon Stadium 2, starting with a fly jab. <gasps> trying to go for it all. Havoc, you know, you said we haven't seen MVD. This is like MVD Jr. And I wouldn't even say Junior. No, they play really different. Yeah. I'll say that right now. Although both using Snake, Havoc has a very, uh, I would say he has a more aggressive and flashy style where Havoc will more so be in your face. And just like this, he's doing backers off the stage with Snake. Yeah, he's what like a, a madman. He's like a CQC Snake, if you will. A little close quarters yeah, combat. Yeah, close quarters combat. And Snake does have the great boxing Ooh. tools for it. You can see he was trying to go deep with that C4, but. But you don't want to box with Ryu, man. Yeah. Doesn't the get that up tilt to go and then gets absolutely punished out of this world for it. Yeah, no, Grosinex with the punishes, Ooh, but what a great. Grenade. That was a B reversal if I've ever seen one. Stuck it right on him. Back to even, wait, a possible huge conversion off the nade right there, but no Nair. Gonna go that low profile to try to get that, past those grenades and those. Yeah, you can see that um, Grosinex is trying to counterplay the, the nades with the uh, Hadoukens and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, but you can get caught up in the Hadouken. Like you said, my man is going for it all. He really does, man. But I don't know if it's working out for him. Yeah, I Because mean, he, he sacrifices so much stage control in the snake. Stage I control agree. is your main game. Starting to put a little minefield okay. out. No respect for the nades from Bros next. Jumping right in, getting his hits. Yeah, so you love to see like it. like snowballs right now. But they're absolutely right. He's trying to use these Hadoukens to get past. Yeah, and but he forgot I had C4. I thought that was he's not watching out for the C4s. How is he going to finish, though? Every time he goes, yeah, he how does puts not himself land at these? disadvantage when he goes out there. Absolutely. I mean, unless he starts landing the back airs, he just needs to space and time them a little bit better. But what Ooh, pressure from jab. the C4 to the F tilt. Ooh, drives that Nikita in a circle. Throw Huge that, potential edge guard. Throw that Nikita in a circle. Great recovery from Brosinex. And what a downer out of shield. That is such a hey. great out of shield option from Havoc there. And for Snake in general, this could be a kill. 99 problems and they all sad boy right now. <laughs> 112 on the board. Uh, Brosinex looking for a huge shield break right there. If Rosenex gets in one time. Rosenex, like, where my super meter at, bro? Ooh. Question mark? Interesting exchange right there. He has a nade on him. Huge so he goes for the follow up back airs. Now he's got and a the nade grenade on him. keeping him safe. Yeah, you can't touch me there. Again, Rosenex not able to get these hits, and every time he oh. hits Havoc, he's taking percent. Yeah, this is going to hurt. I don't think Rosenex. What a change of pace. Woo! Okay. What we saw right there. I'm going to have to, you know, take my hat off for Havoc. Hats off. What? Because Havoc has kept a very consistent pace. Mm. He layers his offense beautifully with grenades. And you saw him forfeit stage control a lot of the times yeah. to go off and whiff back airs. Yeah. But that time, he waited. He switched up his timing and waited for Brosinex to do the first move. Brosinex pressed a button and got up to it. That I, was I, I such a, a change of, of pace. Yeah, I've seen a lot of MVD play. I've never seen him do army crawl to up tilt. Like, <laughs> it's almost it came like out so fast. Just knew. That was great. And that's honestly a, a mark of a high level to top level play right there is to not keep a consistent play style. You need to mix it up. And that was a very convincing two stop. I agree. Right. Once at the beginning, it, it was looking pretty even, but yeah, convincing nonetheless towards the end. Tux on stage there. Maybe something to come. But yeah, Havoc absolutely impressing me there, as you said. Brosinex be, be taking names out here. Yeah, Brosinex is looking Switching locked in. Switching to Ken, obviously, that's the count. He's looking locked in right now. Got to change a character. Maybe he prefers the multi hits, and he's just not showing respect at all. Ooh. A little hit from under the stage there. Might have not been ready for that. Havoc Huge. goes for the back. Huge! The combo's looking clean right now. It's almost like his uh, lab partner is Ryu Kin. I mean, that's what Havoc does. He will do some crazy, insane extensions with Snake that you would think are possible. Hold on. I have to agree. That's what I'm seeing here. And he's covering the wow. stage perfectly with different projectiles as well. This is crazy! That, oh, that, okay, oh. that was great from both players because honestly, I wasn't expecting Brosinex to have a battle back to the stage, but he made it back. But Havoc with the just reading 
his on stage recovery is literally it's insane it was beyond reading he absolutely had a picture book of he him. was ready and prepared for every possible outcome we're getting a little cqc here from yeah, Prosy. finally can he get the kill here he goes for the big reach but havoc is just too slippery yeah good shielding there to stop the grenade but we have a little bit of a sure switch up nice. there he said, sure, you Rose can. Rosenex absolutely needed that to get him back in, in this game because ha the way Havoc's playing right now, it doesn't show signs of slowing down. Yeah, but I think if there was a time to pop off for Rosenex, it's right now. Back throw going to hit. Two nades. Double well, nades to the up smash. Covering no so to much space. Yeah, coverage indeed. And, and then the there C4. was a C4. So in between those two <laughs> grenades, and the and the mortar. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of explosions, and and you can see that Havoc uh, took some notes because he's not going for any wild back airs. He's just maintaining stage control. Although it's textbook, there's nothing wrong with that because that's what Snake does best. That's when he rides and Brosinex is having a hard time. Havoc good at when he is using these explosions that he's going out of the. Oh, oh, that could have been an it. Wow. He gets back to stage Havoc and does a little damage. He wants to end this. 69 on the board. Can he get this matchable combo to go? He Havoc is a hard like, one. Havoc is looking like the best player in Vegas I'm right now. Saying. He punishes. Everything has just been so perfect. I agree. He's moving with oh, 42. Everything is a, is a checkmate situation. It's looking so rough. Checkmate. And the up till everything is covered. Flawless there's game a bomb. Play. There's a bomb right here. There's a C4 over here. And there's, there's a an snake right there. Yeah. If you get past all that, you got to deal with the man himself. You hard. Know? That was insane. Clean too Honestly. from Havoc. Let's let's go check out some more highlights because I need it immediately. Havoc, at the beginning though, there was a very small margin where you thought, I mean, first thought goes to Brosinic. And then it goes a little bit farther than that. Havoc starts to turn up. Back air to grenade explosion, back air. I mean, it just got to a point where Brosinex stopped having answers yeah. to Havoc's game plan. Like, he adapted. Havoc was able to adapt so beautifully. And it was, at that point, really hard for Brosinex to even land. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, you can see it there. Absolute minefield that Havoc made it. 